reckon we're going to start the penultimate lap now for the GTs and the Porsches. Oh, here we go. Here's the move perhaps from Molina. Not quite into turn one and Cairoli saw him coming. JMW Motorsport started punching the air there, but then decided, no, it's not quite going to happen here. So it's the final lap for the race leader. I still think the GTs, though, are going to have this lap and one more. Yeah. That would uh, fit in Graham's head as well. And also, Pla and Vassivier now only separated by four seconds as Molina has another look at the inside of turn five and through six, but Cairoli's got that line covered off. This is where he might have no choice, though, but to concede the lead because it's straight line speed. There's not much Cairoli can do. The Ferrari gains in this area of the rev range, but then as they work their way through the gears, the Porsche seems to have the ponies in gears four and five. Ferrari is hauling it in and a little bit more, but it's inches, and I don't think the Ferrari's going to be quite close enough this time around. Earlier investigation, by the way, for several cars about the speeds. Under the full course yellow is going to be no further action as Molina runs right oh. off the road, and that's going to delay him massively. I'm assuming all tyres are still inflated. Yes, they are, but they're now rather grubby after that off-track excursion. But now there's traffic for both of these men. With, uh, to unsettle Euro International and M Racing YMR. But it's coming. He's got the, no, he's not. He's hit the wrong <laughs> side. He might have him no, no. on the inside. Miguel Molina. Can Cairoli pull across the road? There's contact, I think, and Cairoli is elbowed off. out. He's off. Almost to make the point that there was contact. Cairoli shortcuts turn seven, and I don't think he's going to be able to cut through. Oh. He stayed in front. Unbelievable stuff. Matteo Cairoli <laughs> off the road. I cannot believe he's going to be allowed to keep this but still tucked underneath the rear wing is, Mi is Miguel Molina and this time around despite the Porsche running off the road at seven he has made the move stick that was better speed being carried through turn seven and Molina the Spaniard now leads the way it's not over yet though because Caroli has got his dander he's off track again has the 66 ever been in front, by the way, in the uh, GTE battle? This might be the first oh. lap it leads of the whole race. Unbelievable. There's still traffic, including another GTE car. They, th they come through. JMW on the inside. This time, I think it's done. Porsche can't get through the traffic. And the 66 and being uh, just that bit further ahead. Cairoli's trying anything now. Cairoli is very, very angry indeed. He ran off the road at 7. He's off the road at 11 as well to gain some of the speed back again. Well, the question marks are going to be about the Porsche and the track limits for the 88 because the Ferrari's lines have been exemplary for this final tour. And I think, I have to check the lap charts, but the only lap that this Ferrari has led in the whole race is the winning lap and there is Liam Griffin who is on top of the debris fencing on the pit wall to call his man home Miguel Molina in the 66 Ferrari